How's it going guys? My name is Tavars and today I try to turn my four post lift into a two post lift. At least I try to see if it's even possible. Before I start with today's show, I want to acknowledge and thank our very first sponsor. It is Benpack, the people that make this awesome HD9 lift. Now I have made two videos with this lift and they've done really, really well. I think they're up to like 400,000 views and to be honest with you, I, I have no idea why. Maybe people are really interested in these things, but I can't tell you how much this thing has changed my garage experience. Now this is, uh, my car is pretty long. You can see it uh, takes up quite a bit of garage space, but this lift can handle it no problem. However, the issue with some four post lifts, uh, some people have mentioned it in the comments, is that it's hard to get underneath Let's say you want to get the body in the air, the wheels in the air, and you want to have all the freedom that that entails. All the freedom that a two post lift entails versus that of a four post lift. Now, usually that would be impossible, or it was kind of possible with the RJ45 jack, the, uh, the kind of rolling jack. You need two of them and they're sort of expensive. So um, that was a solution. I have one and it's sort of, it's like a quasi, uh, two post lift, but I do have a solution. Benpack hooked me up with one of these. So this is, it's called a quick jack and it's made by Ranger. And Ranger is one of Benpack's, uh, I guess subsidiaries and they own it, but uh, yeah, take a look at this. So this is a portable lift. You can take it with, you can put it in your trunk and it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. It's like for race days. It's, it's for basically anything. What I really like is that right here, you can see that this is, it's not exactly an Aston Martin, but it's close enough. I know we don't have my, uh, my Aston on here anyway, but I wanted to show a heavy car on this lift. I didn't want to put uh, something light on there. So this video is going to be an unboxing. And to be honest with you, these boxes are quite heavy. They advertise it as being lightweight. I mean, relatively lightweight to, you know, something like this, like this is like 15 or 1800 pounds. Uh, but the, the quick jack also not exactly the lightest thing in the world, but who knows? Maybe it's just uh, maybe they packed it full of bricks or something. And uh, you can actually see right here, there's a picture of a guy holding it up just kind of nonchalantly. So maybe that'll be me in a few minutes. So what the plan is, is we are going to unbox this. I'm gonna lay it out all on the floor and then I'm gonna put it underneath my car so I can put a lift on a lift. And that'll be, it will turn this four post into essentially a two post. I'm not even sure if this is gonna work because as you can see, there's not a ton of space over here. And I mean, it's gonna to have to go on these uh, little nubs right here for my Mercedes, but it might work. Uh, I'm, I'm not even sure. Uh, the people at Benpack weren't even sure. They, they told me, hey, why don't you try it and put it on video? So that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, without further ado, let's get unpacking. Right, so here it is unboxed. It's not put together yet, but I wanted to give you a little bit of an overview of what the Quick Jack actually is. So this is the Quick Jack 5000. I believe it's actually, it'll tell me right here. This is the Quick Jack BL5000 SLX. Now this means 5,000 pound lifting capacity, and that's gonna be just enough for this. I think it's like, this is like 4,000 pounds, so it should have no problem lifting it. Now, here is the left and right portions. I'm not actually sure which one is left and which one's right, but uh, we'll figure that out in a second. These are all the fittings that I need to install. It is electric and also hydraulic, so that's where it gets its lifting capacity. And the hydraulic motor is this thing right here. So this is sort of a mini version of what I have right there. That's just a, a bigger hydraulic reservoir and a hydraulic cylinder. And this one also works on 110 volt. But just taking a look at the build quality, it is really, really nice. And yeah, um, it's actually, <laughs> I like that it's black because 
Otherwise, I'd have a big problem with it uh, matching all my red stuff. But these, on the, on, on the end, these are the rubber blocks. So the rubber blocks go on either end and they act as buffers for the car because you obviously don't want metal to go straight up into the car. The only concern of mine, honestly, is that this, instead of lifting straight up, it does, it's like the scissoring motion thing. So it goes, it, it kind of pushes the car up to an angle. So I think I'm gonna have to angle that out and uh, instead of it going back like into my cabinet or something. I don't know if this has ever been done, so bear with me, please. But I think we can get it done and I think we can get it done pretty reliably uh, to the point where I can put this thing on the lift without any real issue. Now, obviously, when it says that this is lightweight, this is relatively lightweight in comparison to an actual lift because I'll try to like I'm not not what you call a weak guy, but I'm not a bodybuilder either. And this is Jesus. Ooh, okay, that's a bit uh, it's a bit on the heavy side, but I guess if I had a trailer and uh, if I had like a Even even like an SUV or something would have no problem handling this pickup trucks fine uh, Maybe even a station wagon, but if If you're you know, if it's a long day and this you have to carry this somewhere I'd probably get two people but enough of me rambling. Let's put this thing together Okay, well, it is a new day, and uh, the reason I stopped yesterday was because I thought I was running out of parts. And uh, right here, this is the power, uh, I'm guessing, oh, just the, the hydraulic motor. Um, as you can see here, there is no way to connect it to a 110 volt or 120 volt outlet now it was late yesterday and uh when it's late and you're tired you make a lot of mistakes so i went through all of the boxes uh all of the you know packing materials all that stuff to make sure that i didn't miss a uh, a dc power converter anything like that and i didn't i wasn't missing anything until i sent an email to ben pack saying hey i think i think you guys missed something and they said no actually it was delivered so i took a better look and my idiocy apparently knows no bounds because right here, right <laughs> behind this door was a box that said Benpack on it and it has the 110 volt power, uh, power I guess this is a power converter, the 110 volt hydraulic unit for the quick jack. So it was not Benpack's fault, it was my stupidity. So what I'm gonna do now is take that out of the box and pretty much do everything I did on that. The reason why Benpack sent me two power units, that one and the one in the box, is because one is AC, uh, the one that goes, well actually, this one over here. This one is a regular 110 volt, goes to a uh, regular 110 volt power outlet, and this is a 12 volt. Now, I think that there should be some kind of adapter because I don't think you're supposed to just put on uh, jumper cables directly to, to these because they, they are flopping around a bit. But I think it goes on to here, these, these connectors. 
So this is basically just the, the motor windings and uh, the 12 volt connectors go here and it should be good to go. I'm not gonna test this out now just because I don't wanna, I have the 110 volt uh, unit. So that's gonna go uh, in the corner for now. Maybe I'll put that in my trunk if I ever decide to you know, use this uh, out in the field somewhere. But it's an interesting feature to have, especially on something like this that uh, you can actually lift your car with the power from your cigarette lighter. So I have it all assembled, sort of like a uh, test setup. Obviously, I'm not gonna have a car on here the first time I lift it, um, but I need to uh, make sure it goes up and down and also to take out the uh, packing oil that's in this air cylinder right here and also the air that's in the hydraulic cylinder. So that's very important. What I have here, this is a snazzy little it looks it looks uh, looks construction like it's it's pretty cool. Just has big up and big down button. Now that we have everything connected up there, all the hoses are routed. It is a little bit haphazard, but it will get cleaner, I promise. I'm gonna press this big up button. Come on! Oh, <laughs> nice. And they're coming up slowly but they're coming up at the same time and those right there those down here those are the locks so just as like a jack stand um, you never want to have a car just on hydraulic pressure alone because hydraulic pressure can fail there can be a leak um, you always want to have it on an actual mechanical lock and that's what these have. So uh, just like my regular, my four post lift has locks. This has locks as well. Very good feature. Let's see how high it goes. I think that's as high as it goes. So the specs for this are, uh, it can lift 5,000 pounds. It also lifts up to 21 inches. Now, 21 inches is just this mechanical lifting component. You can also put in extra like uh, risers here. So if you have an SUV, if you have a pickup truck, if you have something lifted, you can put those in and this will lift uh, basically an extra whatever that amount is. So I have that, uh, they, they did send that to me, but I don't have any cars right now that can handle this other than the dually and the dually is 9,000 pounds and this would break this thing uh, pretty much in half. But um, what I'm gonna do now is a little bit of a boring part. I'm just gonna make sure that all this, all these uh, cylinders are bled. Then I'm going to put it onto that car and uh, hopefully it should lift it without issue. So the next time you see this assembly, it should be on my lift, ready to get the Mercedes up in the air. All right, so here is the moment of truth. I have the quick jack underneath my Mercedes. Uh, I do have uh, some blocks like right here, um, right there and right there, since it doesn't really get to the, uh, the jack points, but these should be all right, hopefully. So just to let you guys know, this is not recommended. This is not a recommended setup. I just wanted to know if this was even possible. So uh, this is usually meant for a garage floor, you know, a garage floor or uh, maybe in a race, uh, like a, in a pit area. Um, that's perfect, but I'm not sure if this is actually meant for this. This channel is about doing stuff that's <laughs> not exactly recommended. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's press the up button. Okay. Uh, 
I'm not, it, it, the, the system's not stopping. I'm just stopping because I'm just like nervous. Ooh. All right. <laughs> All right, guys, I think it's making lots of noises. I think that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to stop because that's, that's as as good as it's gonna get. Um, it can go all the way to the top. I'm just, I'm just a little nervous. This really is not a bad experiment. I, I like the way this turned out. I like this, uh, I like this setup. So I'm just gonna lower this down. And the other side is down as well. Yeah, yeah, that uh, that definitely works. The car is still a little bit up just because uh, the air suspension is, uh, it's a little bit wonky. When you lift the car up, it, it, it tends to uh, create like a little bit of a, va like there, there's a lot of kind of air pressure magic going on there. So don't worry about that, that's actually normal. Now, I'm not gonna say this setup is exactly ideal. If you want a two post lift, you could probably get a two post lift uh, way cheaper than it would cost to just get a four post lift plus a quick jack. However, a quick jack is pretty versatile. Uh, one reason that I really like it and really, uh, I'm really excited to use it is because that's gonna go right here. Well, if you take out all this mess, it's gonna go right here where a car is gonna go. And uh, it could be my wife's car, it could be the Aston Martin when, uh, when it misbehaves. I won't have to worry about getting, the, getting under the car to do an oil change. I won't have to worry about uh, taking the wheels off. It's just gonna be something that I can do now. And it is a little heavy. I know that the 3,000 or the 3,500 pound uh, limit ones might be a little bit uh, lighter duty and uh, that might be better to uh, kind of haul around. Um, but this is the 5,000 pound. This will work for most any car. I mean, some SUVs, they're gonna be kind of tipping the scales at like five, th 6,000 pounds. I was actually really impressed with the fact that it could lift this Mercedes S-Class. And S-Class I think weighs about 4,000, maybe 4,100 pounds, and it did it with no problem. I was a little bit nervous, but I'm sure that the Quick jack could handle it. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering how much this actually costs. So the entire system costs, you can get it around $1,300, which is a bargain considering that the RJ45 jack, the RJ45 that uh, basically slots in right here and it raises one side at a time, that by itself is $1,100 and you need a lift. So this would be a little bit more versatile and in lieu of the RJ45, you could get one of these. Um, I'm not saying that it's necessarily the best option, but it is an option. I am thoroughly satisfied with this thing. Um, when I was thinking about what video I do with the Quick Jack, um, I saw that Eric the Car Guy made one, uh, Tom's Turbo Garage made one, and they basically talked about an overview and I wanted to do something a little bit different. And specifically the fact that I had this four post lift that I love so much. Uh, I think this kind of, uh, this kind of ticked the box for a different kind of video. So as always, links to everything, the, uh, the quick jack, the uh, Benpack HD9, all that stuff is just gonna be in the description below. And uh, with that, I think, I think it's time to end. So guys, that's it for today's video. Uh, it did take me a little bit longer just because of my own stupidity. I didn't realize that Ben Pack actually sent me what I needed to finish the job. But uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Ben Pack. Thank you everybody for uh, making my channel um, sort of as, I'm not gonna say as popular because it, it is one of the smaller channels out there, but we just surpassed 30,000 subscribers, which is, it, that's, that's crazy. That's insane but I think that we can get that number a little bit higher. So I am sweating my face off and I could not be happier because I'm sharing this awesome 
uh, garage experience and uh, an automotive experience with you. Um, I know I haven't really done anything now, but uh, this car is getting a lot of work done. There's a reason why it's in my garage right now. So that means you should stay tuned because 